drinking buddies, I have quite the bottle haul to share with you. And quite the bottle right here. I'm your drinking buddy. All right, drinking buddies. So start things off with Costco. So Costco's in Arizona have been getting insane drops this week. Today they even had George T. Friggin' Stag in Phoenix. Don't worry, I didn't get one of those. Um, so you don't have to hate me in the comments for getting a stag because I didn't get one. But while they're single barrels, while they're foolproof, while they're antiques, while they're 12s, Elmer T. Lee's, E.H. Taylor single barrels, E.H. Taylor small batch, you name it, Costco has been getting it. I didn't get anything too fancy, but I did get a couple. Weller Special Reserves. I figured $19.99 was too good of a price to pass up on them, so I had to grab them. Next up, um, Total Wine which as I've said, has totally dried up for me. I get nothing there anymore. But I couldn't pass up this deal because I had a $10 off coupon and I had a $5 off reward. So I got this bottle of Rare Breed for under $40. Um, can't pass that up. <laughs> when you get a deal like that, you're, you you got to buy it up. Um, and Rare Breed has become harder to find in my areas, in my area, and um, Finding a Rare Breed Bourbon. Rare Breed Rye is actually on the shelf all the time here, but Rare Breed Bourbon is a little bit harder to find lately. I think people have realized how freaking good it is. So, had to grab that. And then also from Total Wine, I went ahead and grabbed a piggyback um, six-year rye. I've had it before, but I don't remember it. So I wanted to try it again and see if I like it. I don't remember caring for it that much. It's more of a mixer, really, but I wanted to pick it up and try it again because it's been so long since I've had it. So. Piggyback, rye, uh, whistle pig. Um, next up, a friend of mine grabbed me this bottle of Rittenhouse, uh, Private Select from Trevor's in Phoenix, which I thought was really cool to grab this for me um, because I like uh, Rittenhouse quite a bit and a pick, I've never tried a pick. So I'm really excited to try this. I think we'll have to do this against the regular Rittenhouse to do an episode of, is the store pick really better? Because this one is at least four years old um, but yeah, anyway, this one, Bottled and Bond Rye, really good stuff. Excited to try that one. Next up, I have quite the haul from Nana's. Um, let's begin with Old Forester 100 Proof Rye. Uh, this is a one liter. This I've never seen in my area. And Marco at Nana's has been getting them in, and I am really excited to try it. I've never had it before. People talk about it being such a great budget rye and it's just it's never been available in arizona and if it was available in arizona no liquor stores are ordering it because i've never seen it next up i couldn't pass up grabbing a um couldn't pass up grabbing a willet uh for your rye because he's a little cheaper than total wine um and pricing this is a great rye love it and uh it's also a beautiful bottle too so i haven't had one in a long time and I wanted to have one on the shelf. Last up, my unicorn. I landed a unicorn, guys. Before I reveal the bottle, I think I gotta do a little taste test. Oh, it smells amazing. Cherries and butterscotch and brown sugar and like French toast.
I'll see myself out. That is phenomenal on the flavor. It's like a like a really sweet cherry pie, tons of brown sugar, great mouthfeel, syrupy, really soaks into the tongue, really long, really great finish that kind of burns the tip of your tongue as it as it finishes. A lot of dessert things going on here with, with like a little bit of a leather finish. Straight up love it. Straight up love it. Each Taylor Barrel Proof, batch 11, 129 proof. Pretty excited that I landed that one. Well, drinking buddies, I think that's it. That's on. Oh, and one more while we're at it. Before when I made Prudent WLW, I um, just used a small sample to make it. Well, I made a big one. So we will soon have a Prudent WLW large bottle. So we're working on that too. That's all I got in my bottle haul. Um, I think that's a pretty darn bottle haul. How would you rate this bottle haul on a scale of one to five? You let me know in the comments. Um, have you been able to find any of these bottles? Is there something I should be chasing out there that's um, maybe as readily available as the rye that just hasn't been available in my area or something that's overlooked like Rittenhouse or something that maybe even the Will It For Your Rice, I think often overlooked. Anyway, drinking buddies, thank you for watching. Appreciate you. We will see you on the next one.